Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, for about a week I've been looking for software in order to draw schematics and PCBs. It's a very handy, a very handy tool to have because, um, well, it just is. I mean, it's nice to draw schematics. I mean, with paper you can do it of course, but it's not quite as good. You can't save it and all this sort of stuff and you can't easily edit them. So I was looking for software. So I looked around on Google for, you know, the best PCB creators, best schematic creators, editors, whatever. And I looked for sites who said, you know, these are the top five or whatever. I compiled lots of them and in the end I cut it down to about ten. So of the ten I managed to cut it down to about six or seven, I think it was seven actually. And then of the seven, which seemed to be the best types of software, I give each of them ten minutes. I downloaded all seven and I give each of them ten minutes. And I could quickly uh, get rid of some, eliminate some as being not the best. And then eventually in the end um, I got down to the three which I thought were the best. So here we go. The third best in my opinion was something called Easy EDA. And I'll just show you on here. Easy EDA. And it kind of looks like this. Um, now with this Easy EDA it seemed okay but uh, it kept crashing for me. Uh, it kept doing weird things which I just thought well you know I haven't got time for this. And um, it seemed okay but uh, yeah a couple of problems with it and it's browser based which I didn't really like that. So uh, I gave this one third place and I decided not to use it. The second one and the first one were in my opinion miles ahead and um, yeah the second one is called Fritzing and Fritzing I thought was excellent. Um, in fact I'll just go to images so you can see what it looks like. This one was excellent, uh, but still, uh, it wasn't the best. I mean, let's have a look at it. If it'll clear up. I mean, you can do this thing with breadboard, breadboard designer, and that's very nice. It's a very nice feature. Uh, but I wanted schematic and um, PCB. So yes, it was very nice, but in my opinion, it came second. Now the first one um, is something called Design Spark. And in my opinion, this is the very, very best one. Uh, Design Spark PCB, it's called. Design, Design Spark PCB. I had a go at this one, like I did with all the others, for 10 minutes, and I got really far in 10 minutes. It was excellent software. The libraries were good. Um, its user interface was excellent. Uh, I could work with it quickly, with no prior knowledge whatsoever. And yes. In my opinion, this is the clear winner. Of all of the different types of software, this is the winner. So, if you want to give this uh, software a go, go to uh, www.rs-online.com forward slash design spark forward slash PCB hyphen software. And then, sorry, and then go to download and installation and um, you can download it. So, um, in this video, I'm going to give a demonstration of this software. Now, remember, I've only used it for actually about 10 to 20 minutes or so, uh, so I'm no expert, but even without being an expert, I can still use this and pick it up so fast. Okay, just before I start this video, I just need to say something, uh, that the video is for educational purposes only, and I'm not affiliated with DesignSpark or RS Components in any way, uh, this is just my own thoughts on the product. Anyway, so I've installed DesignSpark and I can see this screen. So go to File and then New and then Project and then OK. I'll just call the project, um, I don't know, Hello. Oh no, actually I won't. I'll call it, um, let's call it Voltage Divider 1 or something like that. VD1. So I can see Schematic, PCB and Other. I'll go to new again and I'll go to yep schematic okay and let's call this uh, voltage divider one schematic okay now I've used this software for 20 minutes in total and I can use this uh, straight away without having to look at any tutorials or anything so I'm going to show you now um, me creating a very simple schematic so the schematic is going to be a voltage divider and um, 
let's get going. So add component and the voltage divider we're going to need to have a plus V. Um, by the way over here there are different libraries but I'm going to choose design spark. So we need a plus V and I'll put that in there and I'll just zoom in with the scroll uh, scroll wheel and I need another component and the other component can be uh, well it needs to be ground really I suppose I should use VCC and ground yeah so I'll, I'll put VCC in and we need ground where's ground? there's ground so we've got VCC and ground let's get rid of that one with this software it's really excellent as well because the delete key actually deletes the component that you're looking at and ESC actually escapes whatever menu comes up it's surprising that the other software doesn't actually do that all the time um, so this software is so intuitive anyway um, so what do we need next we need two resistors so resistor what's this resistor 2 resistor 1 I'm going to use resistor or well, this one because uh, this is the um, the icon that we use in Britain so uh, R1 and R2 right now let's see well yeah that's good there uh, let's put this in line with that one and now how do I wire it? oh there you go so wire it up that way it's so easy this software then we need um, we need another wire how do I do this now add schematic connection we need another wire that goes from there to nowhere so right click finish here and that's the schematic finished so I'll just save that and center so you can see so there's the schematic finish for the voltage divider so uh, for those of you who don't know um, you feed in a voltage and if both resistors are the same then this output here will be half of the VCC um, so yeah that's kind of how it works and if this is 2k and this is 1k then uh, two thirds will be resisted off and this will be the reminder anyway so that's that's that now if I just get the value and take it off I want to take it off because it's the voltage divider PCB that we're going to make and of course we don't know the um, the resistors because that's what the person who gets the PCB is going to work out they're going to put their own resistors in so anyway the schematics done uh, and now there was something over here to change this into a PCB which I thought was excellent translate to PCB now how cool is this I'll press next next uh, two layer yeah uh, I don't really know the, the size so I'll just press next I don't really know what this means so I'll just press that and finish and here's the PCB so this is this is actually really cool so right let's start putting these things into place so R1, oops, what have I done there? I'll just control Z that. So put R1 there. What's this now? Resulting errors, why will it? R2. Um, is that good there? No, I'll put it there actually. Yeah. Uh, so what do I need next? I need the connector. Now of course the connector is not going to be in the schematic so it doesn't know so I'll need to put it in here. So what do we want? We want a con sil 3. That's what I want. Con sil 3. And I suppose that can go there. And what else do we need? Now there's actually a tool here which I found which is really cool. If you click root all nets it automatically puts the tracks in place for you. But I'm not going to use that. Uh, so add track so we'll go up here oh that's a bit big why has it gone like that I'll start from here and see if this is any different uh, add track yeah oh that's that's weird why is it like that um, so we'll go down there down there to there that's done and then we'll go from oh well, that's cool as well so we'll go down here to here down here to there to there and that's done and we need to go from there to there and we need to go from there to there 
that's a voltage divider circuit complete. So uh, what's next? We need to put text in, and this is so easy. Look, um, voltage divider. Um, I don't know, PCB V one point zero. And I suppose that should go there like that. And also we'll have um, I don't know the created by or something like that. Created by Anthony Cartwright. That will do. Created by Anthony Cartwright. I suppose that can go there. Oh, we also need the the labels for this VCC and all this sort of stuff. So VCC. So VCC can go there, and then we need out, because the voltage divider, of course, uh, sends a signal out, and then we need ground, ground, uh, done. So, whoa, just zoomed in a bit too much there. So it's looking good. Um, now let's see if I can sort of tidy this up a little bit. So I'll move this over here. That looks okay there. Oh, no, no, no. It just said uh, like, can't, you can't put it there because it'll damage the, I don't know, PCB or something. Let's try there. Why can't I go more to the left? I don't really know why I can't do that. Design check errors. Maybe it has to be a certain distance from the side or something. All right, let's just leave it there then. So move this over. See how easy it is. It's so easy. So I've got two dots from the side there. So I suppose I'll keep it the same there. And then over here, I'll leave it there. So there's the PCB, and the PCB is complete. Um, so there was something that was really, really cool about this software. Now, um. Uh, the two best software, like I said before, in my opinion, the second best was this Fritzing. Fritzing was cool because it had a breadboard layout. But this is cool because this has a different feature again. This has this 3D feature. And if I click on 3D view, it will show me my PCB. And I think this is really, really, really cool. Look at that, there's my PCB. So that's what it would look like. And, um, yeah, look at that, voltage divider can see the pins. The person would put their own resistors in. Let's have a look at the back. And look, there's the back, so that's where you'd obviously solder in. You can see the pads and everything there. The only thing left to do now is export the files. Apparently, these uh, PCB uh, manufacturers or fabricators or whatever you want to call them, Apparently they need some files called Gerber files or Gerber files or something like that. And um, to get them you go to output, and then you go to manufacturing plots, then you go to autogen and then type in, uh, press that Gerber or whatever it is and then click OK and then go to run. It says none of the plots include the board outline continue anyway. I don't actually know what that means so I could be wrong here but I'm just going to click yes and then you get a report and then if you go to the uh, directory that it says you then get your files and um, I believe these are the files here so I think you'd send those to your PCB manufacturer uh, which I'm going to do at some point soon and hopefully that will um, that will work so um, yeah in my opinion this is the best software to use it's certainly the best one I've used by far um, and it really is excellent and like I said you can see the PCB I mean you know it's just absolutely excellent and uh, that's what to do so thank you for watching this video and um, have a good day bye